good morning everybody respected uh, chairpersons judges and ladies and gentlemen my innovation is mapping of retinal pigment epithelium in normal and pathology myself and my uh, it's not moving ah. myself and my co-author do not have any financial uh, disclosure to make in this presentation well, retinal pigment epithelium is a continuous monolayer of cuboidal epithelial cells extended from margin of the optic nerve to aura serrata. We try to look the pattern of RPs in disease and well as in normal states. Now we see this is a normal retinal pigment epithelium that we have demonstrated in raw specimen in a, 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 a nuclear specimen uh, eyeball. So this hexagonality is evident here. Now what made me think curiously was these two, two photographs. One is a normal RP and other in the, within the RP there are atrophic areas in a retino, post chemotherapy retinoblastoma cases. Now this objective of this presentation is to know the newer finding of retinal pigment epithelium atrophic changes in human eyes. This is institutional based uh, prospective study where ethics committee approval was taken and raw specimen was studied from uh, retinoblastoma, uh, uh, 17 cases post chemotherapy out of 51 cases, choroidal melanoma in 4 cases, inflammatory cases were 7 and infectious condition was 9. Mapping were done in video mode as well as in still mode uh, by uh, uh, GIS camera and uh, microscope. And this is the retinoblastoma cases. You can see out of 51 cases, 17 cases of post chemotherapy all have typical central retinal RP atrophy, which was confirmed by histopathologic uh, HND stain slides. And these are the drusent as well as the RP proliferation. And choroidal melanoma, as we know, that melanoma is not sensitive to chemotherapy. So all their or knife cases had, do not have uh, these four cases uh, RP changes. And inflammatory cases, particularly sympathetic ophthalmia, there was a diffuse as well as decrease and some of the areas were normal RP changes. In infectious pathology, the fungal and ophthalmia all has very severe RP changes with hemorrhage. This also a diffuse and in rubella retinopathy, there's a normal as well as uh, atrophic areas were seen. So definite pattern were observed in retinoblastoma. Choroidal melanoma did not show uh, atrophic change in four cases. Sympathetic ophthalmia, we see discrete as well as diffuse changes and infectious cases had a severe RP loss because of delayed presentation. In conclusion, this mapping of RP showed evidence characteristics of central atrophic changes in RP from following a systemic chemotherapy in retinoblastoma. Further research is needed to determine clinical implication of this finding and to explore option for RP sparing chemotherapy. Thank you for patient hearing. Um, I like to acknowledge SSDN Ocular Pathology Department, Ocular Oncology Department, Ocular Pathology Department, and Dr. BBCI, which is the uh, Tata Cancer Institute at Guwahati, India. Thank you for patient hearing. Very nice, Dr. Dipankar. And uh, it's a good beginning, but needs to be studied more. And would be very interesting to see what are the prognostic implications of these changes and the behavior of metastasis and recurrence, especially in choroidal melanomas. That yeah. would be because most choroidal melanomas develop micro metastasis over a seven year period. So this would be a very interesting to see whether the response more atrophy causes less micro metastasis or not. Yes, sir. thank you so much for your feedback. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.